Hello there, people. Um, today, I'm on my own. Jack is not with me. And I've elected to go on a pretty reasonably large circular hike. Taking in Blackstone Country Park, um, parts of the Worcester Way, and Budley. Um, it's been absolutely lashing it down with rain all night and there is a lot of floods about so I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do all the route um, or have to backtrack in places because I think some of the paths I want to take down by the River Seven are going to be flooded. Who knows? So that's what I'm about today. Um, so I hope you've joined me to watch this wee little adventure of mine. And um, I'm going to get on with it. Right, so I'm starting off at the Blackstone Riverside Park, it's called. And I'm going to head that away and then go through Budley down the side of the river, I hope. Go through Budley, join the Worcester Walk, and head in the direction of Starport on Severn, cross over come down the river on the other side if possible and back to the car so that's about it very exciting even if I say so myself so uh, needed this today to be honest just get out a rucksack full of uh, food and water and drinks teas, um, a little BCB stove, so I hope somewhere I can uh, sit down and rustle up a bit of soup. Uh, now, I always do this when I'm filming, I always seem to shine the camera towards the blooming sun, and then you get a bloody lightsaber thing going on on screen anyway I won't chat too much just yet I want to sort of get going a bit I might be thwarted when I get round the corner because I think the river might have come up over the path in which case I'll have to backtrack and go up the road which I don't really want to do but I might have to go up the road and head into Beaudley that way to join the beginning of the Worcester Walk or the Worcester Way, I'm not sure what it's called. Worcester Way, I think. But it's, it's very nice in here. Just saying. <laughs> it's very soggy, of course. It's absolutely peed down last night. So I think I'm gonna get a bit muddy and a bit damp. Well, that's just typical, isn't it? This is badly flooded. Oh dear. Thwarted already. Oh my god. Uh, I had a feeling this was going to happen. There's no way I can get through this. Oh. So I was hoping if you can see the gate over there, there's a path all the way alongside down there. Um, ah. It was going to lead me into town. Well, that's a bloody pain. I barely started, and I've got to go in a different direction. Um, right then, okay. Looks like I'm going to be walking up the road into town to join the Worcester Way. Just been a couple of hundred feet and that's it. Stopped in my tracks by flood water. Yeah, the River Seven's well bursted its banks again. I do feel sorry for the residents of Bugley. They're constantly underwater on one side. There are some uh, new defences going up. Uh, one side's got really good defences. The other side, they're in the middle of uh, doing it 
Well, I dare say it's going to be too late for some people. And I dare say there's some homes already flooded. Climate change, eh? Bloody marvellous. So yeah, just following this road up to and into Beaudley. I don't know if you can see it, there's like a mast in the distance. That's Burlish Top, somewhere I've been before, which has the remains of a Second World War US Army base. I've driven up and down this road so many times and I've never noticed that. That's interesting. Uh, so we're in the Georgian town of uh, Beaudley now. I don't know how well this camera's doing because I've got the sun sort of shining towards me. Nice little town nestled in the uh, part of the Worcestershire landscape, close to the Safari Park and close to the Wye Forest. Uh, so this might be a bit dark, I don't know. But I've come to where that walk along the river would have brought me into the town of Bewdley. You can see the barriers up. Uh, the walk's not covered in water, but obviously I was blocked by a massive amount of water, so I couldn't join it. So I'd have come out here basically. And then, okay then, so ahead of me is the start of the Worcester Walk. Before I get run over. There you go. That looks a nice place to uh, pop into one of the days. Huh. Well, it's very pretty down here, even though it's exceptionally muddy underfoot. Nice autumn colours, you know, makes it look extra nice. Don't think it's going to be long before water starts flopping over this. <sighs> yeah, it's cool, man. See, this walk actually takes you... Oh, I'll shut up a minute. I got cut off in mid-sentence. A few walkers just passed me. Uh, I don't talk to the camera when there's people about. It makes me feel like a... Makes me look like an idiot. I'm an idiot anyway, but... Even more of an idiot. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah. This walk actually is 31 miles long. And it does take you all the way to Malvern Hills. Uh, something I'm hoping to do next year. Probably in two or three stages. 
because I'm an old man and doing 31 miles would be a terrific amount for my old bones but yeah 31 miles so I'm just doing a, a bit of a taster just a, a section of it in the direction of Starport but I don't think I'm going to be able to walk along the river on the other side so I might have to backtrack down the path or follow the road and I don't really want to follow the road the roads are boring yeah I was here uh, oh, this is interesting that's obviously a different way Hmm. I'm trying to work out now which way I'm supposed to go. No, I'm. Sp oh. Am I supposed to turn? Yeah, I think I am. I think I am. Um, I did just say I was going that way. I've got a feeling it's this one. Because Jackie and I went up a little tiny bit of it and I can remember it being a very thin path next to the fence by the fields. So I'm just going to take my chance and go this way. It's going to lead to Ribsford anyway, whichever way I go. So uh, I'm going to try this one. my sense of direction sometimes I come back off that path <laughs> it was going back towards Beaudley <laughs> uh, so that was a wasted a wasted 15-20 minutes <sighs> so lovely lady just passed me and I said this is the right way to Ribsford isn't it she goes yes <sighs> so good I'm now on track again. So it seems. Ooh, going back under the underpass again. So it seems that the path I just went down was correct because this isn't the path I thought it was going to be. Not that it matters. This is why I need a need a blooming map. My phone's very old fashioned. It doesn't download apps and GPS and coordinates or anything like that. Um I haven't got an ordnance survey map of Worcestershire. According to that lady, this would bring me out where I wanted to bring me out. But I recognise the country lane I've just crossed. Because the first time we discovered this Worcester Way, Jackie and I drove down it, parked up, and we could see a path that led back to Bewdley, which is, I think, the path I've just come off. <laughs> the one I walked down and then decided it was the wrong way, but it wasn't the wrong way. There's different ways, basically. And now I'm going a different way to the way I thought I was going, is what I'm trying to say in a roundabout way. So, yeah.
must be a bloody age thing or something. Talk about confusion. <laughs> ah, I've come out by the church. Well, I didn't expect to come out. When me and my wife came on the, a little part of this path, we came from up there. Which is what I was hoping to repeat. I wanted to come down this bit. Because it's really blooming nice up there. So basically if I'd chosen, stayed on that path I chose and then came back off, then I'd have been coming back down here. Not to worry. It's pretty cool in here. God, what a place. Oh, I love it. Oh, I can't make sense of this. Look, I'll have a wander about and see if I can pick up a, a proper footpath. Oh, I've got no idea what's going on here. Oh, for a map. I was just scrambling around in those woods. I wasn't sure if I was on public land, private land, what the hell. I've just come through this wall. Over there. There is what looks like a path. On this side. But, see so I came around that water, I, that's probably not supposed to be there, I don't know if it's a stream or that's just from heavy rain. But I'm on this side of the bloody wall, this looks slightly more pathy, so I might have to change my plans thanks to floods, my own confusion, lack of maps and uh, and everything else that's trying to thwart this day out. Yeah. Oh well, let me check out this supposed path, which I don't think is a path, but it might be. Let's check that out and come back to you. Oh God, it gets more interesting. <laughs> oh, this is crazy. It's fun, but it's bloody crazy. What the hell? Oh my god. The size of that bugger. Nah, this isn't a flaming path, is it? Oh my god. Nah. Forget this. I'm gonna back backtrack to the bloody church. Oh somebody's been camping out here. Ready made seats on bricks. Tea towel, saucepan, bottles, pan, another bottle. <laughs> so, come across some somebody's camp, anyway. Well, <laughs> okay. Whether they return or not, I doubt it. And unfortunately, I've got no way of moving that crap. Forget going in the direction of Starport, which is what I'd really hope to do. And uh, take the circular walk back up the route Jackie and I took a week or so ago. And then I'll circle back round the road uh, towards Macar. And I think that'll probably have to do unless I pick up a path somewhere else that leads me in the direction of Starport but then if I go in the direction of Starport I, I'd have to backtrack because crossing over the road 
and going through somewhere called Three Cornered Woods, which I've been to before and it's lovely, um, you cross some playing fields and then you follow the River Seven back to where I parked my car. But if it's going to be underwater, what's the point? That's a bloody steep hill. Uh, especially when you've been clambering around for about two hours, going in the wrong direction or maybe the right direction, but just a nutty, bloody, mad woods. Anyway, I brought, uh, what is it? This little mat. I haven't sprayed it all out because it's quite big. Oh, pointing skywards. Uh, just to sit on. Oh, I'm gonna get my act together, have a bit of a rest. Uh, get my stove out and make myself a, a hot soup. and a tea and just chill for a minute so got me waters didn't need to bring two one would have done me energy drink which is still full uh, me gel there's a block in there the BCB stove me little plate with me bread ready me little pan <laughs> A little pan, a little bowl, and some tomato soup, and of course a saucepan. Nothing to stir it with, mind, and I don't even think I brought a bloody spoon. <laughs> Uh, I did bring oh it's buried under there now I did bring my windshield just in case it was windy but it's not uh, let's get that lit quick oh dirt in there already yeah alright I think I might have a teaspoon in my bag actually. That won't take long. Of course I could have eaten it out of the sodding saucepan, couldn't I? But I've never used this. So I just wanted to use it. I also brought my stool. I was a bit cramped sitting down on the floor. So I got my little stool. I'm sure he wanted to know. Well, that's bubbling away nicely now, so looking forward to eating that actually. I'm getting hungry. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to tuck into this and uh, come back to you shortly. Ooh, what else have we got? Rings, cheese and onion crisps, which I think I'll have now. Well, I'll probably have both packets actually. Two Milky Ways, and an arrow. That should keep me going on this epic adventure of mine. It is nice out here, right by this orchard. One over there as well. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful place. I doubt the camera will pick it up. Maybe it will, I don't know. Right in the distance. I think I'm pointing in the right. I think that's going to be the Malvern Hills. Way in the distance. About 30 miles from here. Oh, 
Well, I've ate everything bar one Milky Way. Swilled out my saucepan. Now I'm going to make myself herbal tea. Now, yep. got me water on for a cup of tea. Probably take about five minutes to boil. <laughs> These things aren't quick. But what's the rush? And I'm going to have a piece herbal tea. Because I need to find peace in my heart and soul. According to my wife, anyway. Yeah, it should be bubbling back now. Yeah, great stuff. Nice. Brilliant. These are brilliant little stoves. They really are. For like two quid. You can't go wrong, can you? Okay, so just sat around for ages, just chilling out and relaxing and having me lunch and that. Uh, all packed up, ready to carry on to wherever. Uh, left nothing behind, of course. Never leave litter and shit. Never. Can't stand people who do. <laughs> That's me blooming mobile going off because I just texted Jackie. She's texted back, but <laughs> I'm not taking this rucksack off now to look at the phone. I'll check it in a minute. Lovely. Oop. Don't trip, Andrew. Don't trip. Oh, well, how are you doing, mate? You doing all right? You doing all right? I'm doing all right, I think. Anyway, nice to speak to you. See you soon. Ta-da. Well, I currently have absolutely no bloody idea whatsoever where the hell I am. Every time I get on a footpath or a trail that I think is going to lead somewhere that I'm familiar with, it doesn't seem to. Unless I miss turning somewhere. I mean, it's very beautiful down here. Got lovely open countryside over there got woods that I've just come out of. I'm on some kind of farm track but the arrow is pointing this way but I don't seem to be anywhere near Bewdley which is what I was trying to head back to. I hope it's not a question of uh, turning round again. Oh, right. 
really. Well, that's easy to miss, isn't it? Where the f... Oh, I've got to cross this farm's field, apparently. Ah, uh, my battery's flashing again, so I'm going to have to be careful with the recording. I'm low on battery power, even though I've swapped the battery, which is a bit bloody annoying. So I'll turn this off, conserve it, see what happens, see where I get to. Oh my God, I'm on some bloody golf course now. Where the hell am I? I seriously don't know. I seriously don't know. This is weird. She's so bloody weird. I don't know which way to go, left or right. I ain't got a clue. Oh my god. I didn't expect that. That was flaming annoying. That really peed me off. I don't know how the hell I got onto the golf course. I've got no bloody idea. I just ended up on it. I thought oh, I'd just follow the path out of here. Asked a couple of golfers. Where's Beaudley? They kind of pointed in the right direction. I was stuck on that golf course for about an hour and a half. It's not what I wanted. I did not want to end up on a bloody golf course. But I did. Crying out loud, these paths are weird round here. I think they're going to lead to something and they don't. Oh. Anyway, I'll shut up a minute of cyclist. So hard to talk here. So hard to talk because of traffic. I finally escaped that bloody golf course. God, how did I get stuck on that? I do not know. That is so insane. Oh, I go through a bloody portal or some bloody thing. I, I don't know. It's just insanity how I got on it. I'm just walking down. Oh, there's traffic. I'm just walking down this hill into Beaudley. I'll come back to you in a minute. So, I'm back to this blooming bit, again, finally. So, follow this back up, follow this back up, and, uh, oh God, I'm tired. <laughs> I'll follow this back up to Ribsford, or down to Ribsford, the quick way. And then back over the road to my car. Bloody hell. Remember this bit where I ummed and hard? And I started off going down there. But I carried on up there, which was fine. It brought me out at the bottom of the church instead of coming down from the top. Now that, that path I took about, I don't know, three hours ago. I thought it would come out here and somehow I ended up going across some farmer's field that was about two bloody miles long and then stuck on a golf course so I'm just checking the battery so I don't know what went wrong I, I'm gonna have to come back here and take this path to see if it connects to Oh God. one of the paths I came up because something went really badly wrong there and I, I don't get I don't get it and I, I really didn't want to be stuck on a golf course I was on that golf course for bloody ages and it really annoyed me because well, because I wanted to be in countryside like this 
for all the hike not have to be stuck on there but I suppose in in the sense of miles uh, you'll have to excuse me fluffing up words now because I'm getting knackered originally as I said earlier I was going to go down through those woods that didn't seem to lead anywhere um, towards Starport crossover and come back up by the River Seven. Now I couldn't because I lost the path. Uh, that would have probably got me up to about 10 miles or something, but I reckon I've hit that anyway, possibly more. Because as I said, I was on that golf course for absolute ages. It's nearly five o'clock now. You know, I started this hike at about 11. Half ten, eleven. Oh, I've just passed the church. Oh, heading back to Blackstone Country Park or Riverside Park or whatever it's called. So should be there in about 10-15 minutes. See that? Very fast flowing river. See there. There should be a footpath along there. Right. I just got to go around this bend or maybe I can cut through where that car is and I'm back to mine my little banger but I'm back at the car my battery's about to die so I'll probably say something more when I get home alright I'll sign off properly then because it ain't going to last two more seconds so uh, I'll say more in a bit bye